Josh, prosecutors say that this is a criminal case of negligent homicide, but defense lawyers argue that this is simply an accident, and can, a guilty verdict here would only compound this tragedy. It's been about a year and a half since 45-year-old Kyle Witte was driving his dump truck in Merrimack, approaching the intersection of Route 101A and Continental Boulevard. What happened that July day lasted just seconds, but changed many lives forever. The defendant, Kyle Whitty, ran a red light. <clears throat> because of this, the victim, Elizabeth McQueen, lost her life. But it's how the defendant ran the red light and why in the vehicle he was driving <clears throat> that makes his failure to become aware of the light a criminal act. Prosecutors have charged Witte with negligent homicide in the death of 60-year-old Elizabeth McQuinn. They say Witte ran a red light and crashed his 30-ton dump truck filled with boulders into the side of McQuinn's minivan. She was pronounced dead at the scene. But defense lawyers say things like drugs, alcohol, and speed played no role in this accident. They blame trees that were blocking Witte's view of the lights, trees that were cut down just two weeks after the crash. This is not homicide. This is not criminal negligence. And it would be wrong to take this tragedy and make it into another tragedy by convicting an innocent man. The jury viewed the crash scene and saw both vehicles involved. In the afternoon, they heard from a handful of witnesses who saw and heard the impact. Gene Assant tried to help McQuinn at the intersection. There was no movement. She was unresponsive. And um, she was shallow breathing at the time, very shallow. The jury also heard from Merrimack police officers who testified that Witte was very emotional at the crash scene. Testimony will resume tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Putting live in Nashua, I'm Andy Hirschberger, WMUR News 9.